Hey everybody, it's me Taylor and this is my video presentation. I was given St. Augustine of Hippo and his name is St. Augustine of Hippo because he was the bishop of Hippo Regius, which is located in North Africa. He is also known as Doctor of the Church by the Catholics because of the influence he had on the Catholic Church and Christian thought during that time. St. Augustine lived in the latter fourth, early fifth century during that time period. In his youth, he was very rebellious, what you would call a wild child for sure. St. Augustine did not like to follow the rules. He lived for the thrilling life. St. Augustine had a Christian mom though, and I'm sure she was praying for him all the time. She's actually known as St. Monica and had a big role in the Catholic Church where she was. And so that's pretty cool. St. Augustine, as a child, he was so rebellious. There's actually a song that I'm going to play for you guys here in a little bit about a story in his childhood when him and some friends, they were, it was probably after midnight when nothing good happens, and they notice some pear trees with some ripe fruit right across from where Augustine lived. And him and his buddies thought, let's go steal the pears for the sake of stealing them. They, they weren't hungry. They didn't need them, but they said for the thrill of it, for the adrenaline, we just want to steal them. We want to take them. So him and his pals run across and take all these pears. I think it, the story goes they took a few bites, maybe just to try them, and then threw them to some pigs. All for the sake of getting an adrenaline rush from doing something bad. And there is a song written about this. Actually, several songs, but this is the one I found and I wanted to play a little bit for you guys. It's not that bad, actually. So here it goes. <laughs> at the door, the boys are really painting the town, I was just another boy, teenage boy, kicking up and acting the clown, one day led to another day, and things were getting out of control. So I don't know if you're listening, but this song goes to describe that whole event. And it said that they hopped over the fence and stole some pears and threw away his soul. The song is by the band Petra, and it's literally called St. Augustine's Pears. But that whole story comes from one of his most famous writings called The Confessions, which I'll get to here in a little bit. So that was... Augustine's youth, um, in later years, he his parents valued education very much and sent him off to study. And in that in those days, as we've seen up to this point, knowledge is very valuable. Now today, teachers don't have as high of a social class. I, I'm saying that with all respect but they're not as valued as doctors, I would say. Whereas in this time period, teachers, anybody who is very knowledgeable was very high on the social ladder. So Augustine went to study rhetoric, which is philosophy, thinking, and he was actually really good at it. He was just had a really new way of connecting ideas that was very influential during this time. So Augustine, while he was studying, got involved in some heretical thinking groups. There he went on from a few, I know one of them was syncretism, 
and just he kept searching couldn't find what he was looking for as a thinker he was learning new things and realizing that these groups that he was with just weren't really making sense he wasn't tracking with them and he would argue against them and bring up points that they could not answer and at one point it said that his mother was like son have you ever thought of catholicism no i'm sure she probably said something different but mentioned catholicism for him and you know he kind of was like eh, mom not for me however there was um a very renowned speaker at the time named Ambrose of Milan, St. Ambrose. And Augustine was very attracted to the way that he spoke. He was a well-known orator in the area. So it says that one night Augustine went to hear him speak, maybe just to listen for the sake of, hey, this guy's in the same area of doing things as myself. Augustine himself was a speaker, was very fascinated with the knowledge. And St. Ambrose must have been filled with the Holy Spirit because Augustine gave his life to the Lord. Hallelujah. And he would, he became a Catholic. He was converted to Catholicism. And this is just the start of the rest of his life. He became a saint himself. We, as I mentioned at the beginning of Hippo. But... Wow, he contributed so much after his conversion. Two of his most famous works are two books that he had written. He wrote many, many more things, but these two are the most well-known. And one of them is The City of God, which was a response to the city of Rome after there was some serious barbarian attacks to the city. And a lot of the people had blamed the Christians because they weren't worshiping the gods, which we've seen that trend a lot. So as a result, they were like, it's your fault that we have been attacked. And in response to that, St. Augustine said, no, in the city of God, it is because we are Christians that what little we have left has been saved. So I thought that was a really neat perspective. His other most well-known work is a book called The Confessions, which this is an autobiography of Augustine's conversion, which I find very interesting. This, this piece is still studied a lot today in Christian literature, but basically The Confessions is Augustine writing out all his sins, all his life and his conversion to accepting Christ, his confessing to everybody all the things he's done wrong and this is where we find the pair story and i found a quote from the confessions that i thought would be really interesting to read in regards to the pair incident and it's set this is what augustine says in his book it was foul i loved it i loved my own undoing i loved my error not that for which i erred but the error itself a depraved soul falling away from security in thee to destruction in itself, seeking nothing from the shameful deed but shame itself. And this is all just a really good incident of the way that Augustine contributed to Christian thought. He was very much influenced by Plato and the ideas that he had. And Augustine combined that with Christianity being, hey, we have a tendency to sin. There's something inside of us that desires sin, just like they desire the adrenaline to steal things and do wrong for the sake of doing wrong. And that was kind of where he was like, man, why are we like this? And so with that, he used that experience to kind of traject a lot of his thought and went for a more philosophical route. And that is why I admire Augustine a whole lot. I was first introduced to him actually in an intro into philosophy course and we studied him big time in just the ways that he combined Platonism with Christianity and I find it very fascinating and again it was very influential to the people at this time so much so that the Catholics have called him doctor of the church. So that's all I got. Thanks for listening.